My name is Liam Barber and I'm the Sales and Marketing Director here at Parksafe Group. We're here today to talk about the DVS Phase 2 criteria which has been set out by TFL. So we're going to go through the Moyes criteria, moving off information system. The Moyes camera at the front is a 140 degree camera angle and that detects 2.2 meters out and 0.5 either side of the vehicle. As and when a VRU enters the camera at the front of the vehicle, it works on a red, amber, green scenario. So what happens is the VRU enters the zone and it will give a visual image on the monitor in the cab alongside a internal pedestrian detected front. Caution, pedestrian detected front. The Moyes criteria also hits the R151 uh, specification as set out by GSR. In relation to the Moyes, as and when the vehicle is stationary and at rest, the internal alarm will be muted as and when the handbrake is applied. Along the side of the vehicle we'll have the BSIS which stands for Blind Spot Information System. We have a 170 degree camera along the side which covers 9 meters down the side and 2.2 meters out. So just like the Moyes criteria we have the internal alarm. Caution! Pedestrian detected left. If and when a VRU enters multiple zones what it will do on the internal monitor it will split that screen and it will show the driver both zones. Alongside that it will also give a pedestrian detected audible alert. Pedestrian detected. Over the speeds of 30 kilometers, the internal speaker and the external speaker will be deactivated. Under 30 kilometers, then they will become active again. What that means is that the camera monitoring system will still be displayed internally on the monitor, so it will alert the driver visually of the BSIS and the Moyes for any vulnerable road users. However, it won't give you an audible alert over the speeds of 30 kilometers. Between the hours of 11.30 p.m. and 7 a.m., we have an internal mute button switch. As and when that button is pressed, it will give the external audible alarm a four minute delay or until the ignition is turned off again. If and when the, there is a fault with the camera or there's a covering of the camera, it also displays with a visual display on the monitor to alert the driver. All rigids and trailers must have a blind spot warning sticker fitted to the rear of the vehicle. So I hope that's cleared up any speculation or confusion you've had around DVS and the new phase two criteria. Parksafe Group are here to talk about any questions that you may have or any requirements. We're here to help to get your vehicle up to a three star rating by October 2024.